Finally, it happened. In the not-so-distant future, nuclear fusion might power rockets. This past week, the results of the successful fusion experiment were released in a press conference that will go down in history as one of the most important achievements for humanity. It's the result of 60 years of worldwide research, development, engineering and testing, and it might become the backbone of commercial power generation. Nuclear fusion is how the Sun and other stars make huge amounts of energy over long periods of time. Scientists use the most powerful laser in the world to shoot a pellet of hydrogen plasma and start a nuclear fusion event. By smashing hydrogen nuclei together, helium is created. This process, known as nuclear fusion, generates enormous amounts of heat and energy. These nuclei lose mass when they fuse together, releasing energy as they scatter. The researchers reported a production of 2.5 megajoules, or 120% of the 2.1 megajoules required to perform the experiment. At the present time, supporting evidence in the form of the published research is lacking. Although the laboratory has not yet verified whether or not the yield is beyond the threshold, they have concluded that it is greater than they had anticipated. Fusion has the potential to provide almost endless amounts of carbon-free energy, which proponents of nuclear power believe might eventually assist to replace fossil fuels. However, Pulsar Fusion, a British rocket business, has received funding from the UK Space Agency to develop integrated nuclear fission-based power systems for electric propulsion. The corporation is developing both nuclear fission and fusion-based rocket engines. Now that a fusion experiment has been completed, Businesses like Pulsar Fusion have the potential to develop hyperspeed rocketry. In the past, the UK rocket company has announced that it had plans to construct a nuclear fusion rocket prototype by the year 2025. According to its most recent press release, the company is certain it can create the fusion-based infrastructure and propulsion systems needed to launch nuclear fusion rockets in less than four years. Officials have acknowledged that the private sector will have to play a significant role in hastening the transition from laboratory experiments to commercial electricity production. And President Joe Biden has stated that he would like to see a commercial fusion reactor up and running within the next decade. Meanwhile, the Californian researchers brought up the work done in Oxfordshire, where the jet machine was used to generate around 11 megawatts of power earlier this year. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.